what he told you. I couldn't avoid it. He asked me point blank. It could be very dangerous to overload him so quickly. You must remember, an entire year is missing from his life. Dear Joe, it's so hard writing at a time like this. Ink on paper seems like such a cold and impersonal kind of communication when there's so many things I want to say. They tell us you're not ready for visitors yet, and you can't receive any phone calls, so I guess it will have to do. News of your accident and your father and brother's tragedy reached us on a rainy Tuesday in River Heights. The hardest, most depressing day of my life. It's hard to conceive, but I know you must be feeling even worse than anyone here. Just please accept our deepest condolences and know that we're pulling for you all the way. Try your best to get well quickly and know that your father and brother are now in a better, easier place and we want you to carry on with life just as soon as you can. Best wishes, Nancy Drew. Reading your letters? From everyone I know. I just spoke with Dr. Lowe about your EEG. And? You have no permanent brain damage. Good. Your Aunt Gertrude visited about five months ago. She wanted to take you back with her. Why didn't I go? Your condition was too delicate. And Dr. Lowe is respected as a neurosurgeon the world over. You couldn't have been in better hands. When do I get out of this thing? When your muscle tone returns. Don't forget your body was dormant for almost a year. Is that why I feel so stiff? I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but... Where are they now? The Red Chinese returned their bodies. They were flown back to the United States. He should be regaining his memory as the hours pass. Well, when can I speak with him, Doctor? Well, I think we should uh, wait a short while. It would be stupid to press things at this point. He's coming along just as we had hoped. Prince Charles's wedding to Princess Caroline came as a complete surprise to both their families and to society economists the world over. The couple plans to honeymoon in the British West Indies and to return to London on the 23rd. And that's the news this Thursday, January 18th, 1979. This newscast has been a British Commonwealth Broadcasting System presentation. Charles and uh, Princess Caroline. That's lovely. You should leave. They'll be back very soon. I want to talk with them today, Doctor. It's too soon. It's important, Doctor. Well, tonight, after supper. But only if I'm convinced that he's ready. Now, he may not remember much anyway. Why? The medication. We'll reduce the medication. Yes, that would be best. She's not supposed to be on this floor, and she knows it. United States President Jimmy Carter left today for a journey to Uganda to meet with the new Ugandan President, Utu Mubata.
talks will center around the re-establishment of diplomatic relations following the overthrow of the tyrannical regime of Idi Amin three months ago. Carter, at a press conference prior to departure, said that he hoped that the talks will be meaningful and lead to a fruitful and long-lasting relationship between his government and the new Uganda regime. In other news, the Soviet Union announced that sales of the night. Oh, this one's nice. Oh, that's pretty good. You cut it out! Do you, do you, you like this? spray it on your own hand, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and how much is this one? This one, three dollars. This is two dollars. Is this American dollars? This is Hong Kong dollars. Hong Kong How's this one? Joe, 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 cut out! Oh, come on, let's not get into a perfume war. How much is this one? Two dollars. This is two dollars? Mmm, that's delicious. I think we'll take this one. He's out! Worm. I'll be fine, thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Hardy. Was your supper all right? Yeah, it was fine. Uh -huh. Your EEG was nearly perfect. Did Lita tell you? By the way, there is a gentleman outside who wants to see you. Uh, do you feel like talking to him? Who is he? An American uh, from a, a federal agency. Something about your, your father and your brother. I is he here? Yes, in the hallway. I'd very much like to see him. Thank you. Mr. Abrams. Hello. Hi. Uh, Mr. Peter Abrams, Joe Hardy. Uh, doctor, I, uh, I wonder if uh, we could be alone a few minutes. Yes, of course. Keep the conversation short. <laughs> 